After many days of effort, I finally managed to defeat Cinderace Abyss. Although it was quite challenging, I believe you can do it too. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's me, NDL Gamer, once again. Today, there are no new codes because the game is currently facing some issues and isn't showing up on the Play Store. I believe they're working on fixing the problem, so you might receive some compensation in the next couple of days. Now let's get into the main content of the video. First, I use Gyarados to lower Cinderace's speed and activate Dynamax to protect myself. Then I use Water-type moves to summon Rain. Since Cinderace is a Fire-type Pokémon, it's vulnerable to rain, and during the rain, some of its moves will become not effective. <coughs> Next, you just need to use Knock Off to remove its Apple, preventing it from recovering HP each turn. Now, let's talk about Pukumuku. I use Pukumuku because it has high defense and special defense, and it's not too hard to upgrade its star level. I'm planning to push it to six stars soon to take down these bosses. The skill Pain Split works by adding the HP of both players together and then splitting it in half, so the one with less HP gets healed while the one with more HP loses some. I mentioned this in a previous video already. Alternatively, you can use Litwick, but it must have the Flash Fire ability because this makes Litwick immune to Fire-type attacks when the opponent uses Fire-type Pokémon and moves. <laughs> 